behind our planes is the work of scientists, engineers, mechanics. Work that goes to the making of the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Work that backs the daring and courage of the men who fly our planes. Work that is done by skilled and unskilled men. And women. As members of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, we are doing our share. Some of us are still doing much the same jobs as we did in civil life. We were typists, we served in shops, we worked in factories. Some of us just stayed at home. Some of us had homes of our own. But then there was no war. Now we're at war with a job to do. We're proud of the uniforms we wear. We came from factories and offices, homes and farms, to do something you may imagine is an easy job with a touch of glamour to it or to swank in uniforms. But we don't spend much time on show. Aprons are no new uniforms to us. On our Air Force stations, we've taken the place of men at cooking, baking and preparing meals. Jobs that we can do while the men are trained to fight. Some of us are in training as radio operators. For a start, this means practice, concentration and more practice. Our standard of efficiency is that of the men. Then there is study and the intricacies of radio equipment to be grasped. But not all our training is done on the ground. In this plane, we gain air experience. Yet, we are not needed as radio operators in the planes, but our work on the ground will link us with pilots and operators in the air. We must know the conditions under which they work. This is how we learn. Some of us are new to flying. Some of us were once members of aero clubs in the days when flying was for pleasure and not for power. Sewing fabrics for wings or fuselage is more important now than sewing costumes and frocks. In our ranks are trained tailoresses doing this work once done by men. And men are being replaced in the dope shop where torn and damaged fabric is repaired. First it is sewn, then treated with special paint. Honest, dirty overalls are uniforms here. In the equipment store there are spare parts to be checked and orders to be filled. This is routine work perhaps, but you must know every part. And it's no use sending a workshop a propeller when they ask for a spanner. The men have confidence in our work. Here in the parachute room is work we do that earns their confidence. Packing parachutes, work that demands real skill. Hanging parachutes to dry, for a wet parachute is dangerous. Packing them again with special care, for the smallest detail out of place will kill a man as certainly as an enemy bullet. If a man can use a lathe, why not a woman? Turning metal is a skill some of us are being taught. Even driving a crane is easy enough, after a little practice. Everywhere on our Air Force stations you'll find us at work. Not as many of us as are really needed, but our numbers are steadily growing. And we're doing work that's releasing men for other duties. Once some of us were used to driving cars, now we service them as well. We drive trucks, and if we have to have a man with us to help with the heavy loads, well, two men went before. Cars and trucks must be cleaned too. For some of us, this is our daily job. All our work must be done on time. Meals must be ready on time too. Lines of hungry men keep some of us busy. Others in our own mess receive the same food as the men, and it's good food. There's a touch of home for the men in having meals ready, table set, and service. We have our own wash house on every station, a place to sit and sew, to knit to have a cup of tea, yes, and to talk. A few weeks ago, most of us were strangers to one another. Now it's different. 
It's not the uniform we have in common, but the job, the work and relaxation we enjoy together. the dawn of every day, this work is being done by women behind our planes. It's vital work and more and more women are doing their share. There's plenty of room for others. Preparing a flight for action. Driving fuel tankers. Fueling planes. Loading ammunition. This is no game of make-believe. Testing and assembling cameras. Starting planes. And checking out the crews. Every day, our air power grows. Every day, planes take off on reconnaissance and training flights. Every day, the business of keeping our planes in the air is shared by the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. <laughs> 